Hey y'all, what's going on? This is Jackie, and today I'm making a video about six things you cannot do as a unit secretary. So the first thing that you cannot do as a unit secretary is give medication. That is something that we are not allowed to do. That's for the LPNs, that's for the nurses, the RNs, that's for them, okay? We cannot do that. Number two, we cannot draw blood. So we are not phlebotomists. That is not in our wheelhouse. We cannot do that. Number three, we cannot lift patients. So, you know, they say, oh, can you come? Mm, we're not even supposed to be doing that. Number four, we cannot reposition patients. So, like, if we go in a room, let's say um, the patient put on the call light and they just need, we can't, we can't do none of that. We got to get the nurse. Number five, we cannot perform CPR on a patient. We see a patient, they're not breathing. We pull that cord and um, yeah, <laughs> we call them because they got to give, you know, they got, they, they know what to do. And number six, we do not provide post-mortem care. Post-mortem care is basically when a patient dies and they uh, clean up the body to get the body ready for the morgue or for the funeral home, things like that. That's postmortem care. That is something we cannot do as unit secretaries. Now, a side note, some unit secretaries are certified as CNAs, PCAs, whatever you wanna call them. They are certified to do that. So you have um, secretaries who are also CNAs. So this is usually on the smaller units, like a, like a ICU, ICU unit, or maybe like a, um, like a OR maybe where they can do things like that. So some of these things that are a no, no for just regular unit secretaries, the unit secretaries that are certified as CNAs, PCAs, they can do everything I just listed. All right, that's all I got for you. If you have any questions or comments, you can put them below. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll talk to you later.